you said something that really intrigued me earlier, which was that uh, computers were boring in the mid '90s, uh, and I'm I'm just kind of uh, I'm curious to poke further at the idea that idea. What what was not boring? What was exciting about computers before, and what was boring during that, and what made them exciting again afterward? Well, I mean, I think when the when you were young, if you were young, I mean, the the personal computing revolution really started taking off in the um, in the 80s, right? In the late 80s, you it was a lot of people were had their very first computer. You were you were surrounded by people who had their first computer. Families had their first computer, so it was very new. By the time you got to the 90s, people were on their second or third computer, and uh, except for the fact that your games looked cooler, I mean, what people were doing with computers was more or less the same. Um, it didn't really change until the internet came around. That was pretty interesting. Um, but around that time, you also had, you know, and Java is, is fine. People people write interesting software systems with Java, but Java sort of took over, right, um, in a in a very big way, um, uh, and probably for reasons that made sense. It was a programming language that shipped out of the box with some basic ability to run in multiple places. Um, basic facilities for talking over networks, um, uh, you know, garbage collection. The fact that it shipped with a garbage collector was radical uh, at the time. You know, it was very unusual. Um, and it sort of, for 10 years, I, feel, I really felt like that Java was the only game in town uh, if you were going to be a developer. In fact, I mean, when I, when I would hang out with my CS friends, I mean, CS seemed like, you know, Java vocational, you know, training. But it's changed. I mean, I, we, I think we've come around, right? I think um, with the recent interest in functional programming um, and new languages, it's been awesome. I mean, I, I think it's, it's great. Uh, we finally, well, we're slowly inching towards something else. You know, so I would say that like things like Go and Swift are incremental steps. Even something like Clojure is an incremental improvement um, over the big, the really big list of ideas. Uh, but but at least we're heading in a different direction finally. <laughs>